Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, my lovelies. How are you? Why is my camera not straight? There we go. Thought I'd check that, but you know, I could have hit it. Hello, hello. Can you all hear me? Is the sound and volume okay? Or is it scratchy and I need to reboot? Let me know. Let me know. Sound that looks great. Good. I'm going to start out with a fresh plate today. Maybe. One second, guys. Okay. Sorry, I had to take the sign off the mail off. And I need to get a chair. <laughs> baby oil on this because it takes everything off the plate and conditions it at the same time. If you're wondering what the, just, just Johnson's baby oil. Let's see, it just, it takes the stuff off the plate like nobody's business. It doesn't matter what's on it, it'll clean it. So just a little bit of prep, um, and then we'll get started making a mess. If it has little bits, I wanted to, I was going to keep that and just pull it up, but I decided against it. What is, what are your plans today, guys? What are you guys doing besides spending a few hours with me? I've got major plans. Y'all are quiet. Hello, hello. Go share this out. Go share this out in your groups, um, social media. Let's get a party going, a jelly printing party. Let's do it.
Okay. Um, I'm going to do some things that are a little bit different today. Some, I mean, some things are the same, but I'm, I'm kind of, we're going to be doing some imprints and layovers and just some different stuff. You can get some different papers going and stuff. Okay, and I'm leaving this so I can turn it over so we can see what's going on as a jelly plate. So, um, the papers I'm using, I'll get this out of my room. So, I'm using my normal um, Tracy paper that I love. And then for pickups and other prints, we can use uh, regular. Uh, copy paper got all my fw inks over here um that's not the right okay this is what your sepia is black and that's paint gray okay um Let's get some things on it. Um, I want to use some of these texture plates. Let's see. Yeah, let's play. Let's play with this one for now. And um, okay. Um, <clears throat> This is a um, texture plate by um, Caravelle. Okay. So let's do, let's put this, let's get this plate started. Again. Let's get a little messy. Got a little, oh. Hello, are you guys there? You just posted. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, bring a friend. <laughs> um, Shirley, what are you up to today? You're quiet. Come in all quiet and stuff. Okay, what is, oh. Um. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of this is just matte medium. And yes, you can use matte medium and clear gesso on your plates. It is so cold and you're so sleepy. Well, get some coffee. <laughs> get some coffee and get some ideas going in so we can you know audience participation everybody can pick colors i'm gonna first put down some Payne's gray um i don't generally like to use black so i will typically um use paint gray it's just a better color than just straight black okay let's first do this it's going nice. <clears throat> nice, 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 nice. Uh oh, I scared it. Let's try that again. The nice thing about doing it on your jelly plate is you can just fix the mistake you did by redoing it. Okay, that's good. And let's put a little one up here, about there. Okay, I keep pushing down the edge. Okay, note to self, don't do that. 
<laughs> um, let me clean this up because this is um, paint and stuff, and I don't want my stamp or texture plate to um, get all yucky. And you know, it's just like cleaning off your stamp. Be a good stamp, Mama. Okay. All right, I'm gonna dry this. It is, I love it. Fifty Poo, what colors do you want? Remember, if, you're, you, if you want to dry what's on your plate, do not use your heat gun. Use a hair dryer on a cool setting. What kind, what color blue? Like, do you want a uh, like a cyan blue, like that color blue, or do you want more of a teal blue, like I uh, the marine blue, which is a little bit darker but more teal. This one's more aqua. This one's more teal. So you tell me. And black right over here, and purple. Purple. Here's a little bit of a smiled magenta. Um, so here's the purple. I'll put in a little bit of this. Don't this. I don't really have. Let's see if I have a violet in the other end. I know I have a violet. Here's violet. Okay. I'll keep these out on standby. <laughs> In case you decide to use them. Okay. That's over there. Drying things over here. I got my chair ready. Um, more aqua. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, um, you only need just a little bit on for, um, and black is not your best friend, so you really need just a little bit. This one has to be safe so all the colors get put over there. This is probably very similar, but I'm going to put it on there because you asked for violet. So I might have to put, well, we'll see. What I'm trying to do with this pull is fill in the design. 
and I don't want to over mix it, which I might have done that already, but I still see the bits coming through. So hopefully I didn't overdo it. Um, and um, you know what, I'm going to put a bit more blue places. Just uh, spice it up and keep it a little bit lighter. Okay. Um, dry this. Cleanup print. I mean, a, a, a cleanup paper and just soak up anything that's still wet. Okay. Then I'm going to use white to um, this is only acrylic I have in my studio. A really thin layer. Let's see. Let's see how that does. That might be too thin. <laughs> it's a little bit too thin. You gotta, you gotta put a little bit on your plate, okay? You just, you just gotta. <laughs> But you want you want to really for the pickup print you want a really thin thin layer. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh my. Good paper. And you know what too? I want to I want to do be able to do this stuff. Oh. Let's see. Let's put this down first. Whoops. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's crooked. The paper is crooked as long as it covers. The whole thing. <laughs> Like I'm not really, I'm, I'm lucky I didn't land in the hospital with pneumonia. 
Okay. It usually happens when I get sick. You know, so I think you get me sick, man. Just saying. Are you all ready for this pull? Sissy Poo, are you ready for the mess you made? Got a little dark, so that's okay. We'll we'll um we'll do it again, and we'll do less. But I gotta get this off now <laughs> because I made a mess, and I I mean I cleaned it and didn't clean it off. Right there. I must have left oil on there or something. I mean, it had to be the oil the only thing on it. So make sure you wash your plate off good. But that tour, and I mean, it, um, you know, you guys, uh, I just cleaned this. I should have cleaned this before, but I, I got off late. Um, so I'm like, well, I don't really have time to, because I had to pull everything out. and. So, we will do it again. I'll make sure that I get all of this baby oil off of here. And it does take a couple times after you first clean it for it to, um, you know, for you to condition the, pl the plate back to paint. But the reason why I cleaned it in the first place is because I had paper. The paper was stuck in the, the crusty bits. And, well, I want the crusty bits, but I didn't want all of that. There was too much up there for what I'm trying to do today. Okay, so let's try this. Let me dry this again. Let me see what you guys are saying. Yeah, it does. But, you know, it, um, yeah, like it didn't, it didn't do what it's supposed to do. Because <laughs> you guys know my pranks are yummy, yummy. And that was not yummy, yummy. All right, let's try this again. Back to my Payne's Gray. Oh, I didn't put it. Okay. Let's, um, I'm going to. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, I really need to get this in a squirt bottle. It'll probably be easier. But I haven't done it. Oops, told you I was going to make a mess. Okay, and I don't care that I get messy with this. Well, jelly pudding is not, if you are OCD about not getting your hands dirty or whatnot, this is not the thing for you. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, okay, where's my... All right, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, I gotta go let the dogs in. I do, I do. You can hear them barking. Oh, don't press on the outside, Charlie. You get those little things. Oh, good. We didn't get barely any of those little things. Okay. Okay. 
been dry. Hi guys. Oh good. Yeah, everyone, it's just been happening recently where every once in a while the square invoices will land in your junk box. So make sure that no matter what sale you go to, whether you, I mean, unless you know that they use square, but that you just check your junk box because it's it's a square or it's an email issue, not a square issue. Your email is recognizing the square address as junk. So you just want to check that every once in a while. Okay, let's go back. More color, less black. Okay, let's do a little bit less in the darker colors, the purples. Okay, let's add a lot more blue this time. Keep it light and fresh. And I think I'm going to add a bit of gold. Um, okay, where's this? I'm going to use just a tiny bit dab there. I think that's all the maybe there. I'm not even squeezing, I'm just pressing the little thing down. So it gets a little bit of black in places. Um, I think I need to use a little bit more of this purple. Okay, let's see how that does. And again, don't over mix. Yeah, that one, a little bit of black is just enough. little bit okay okay <laughs> tammy honey how are you feeling guys tammy was in the hospital she's are you home now hello Rosa. how are you doing sweetheart You're still there. Oh, goodness. Did they get your BP down more? Are you leveling out now? What? What's the deal? Talk to me. Tell me. <laughs> if you want to. If otherwise, you can text me later. I don't know how much you want to share online. So. But at least you're better than you were. Just white acrylic, if you're wondering. Oh, I need a little bit 
more. Just a, just a wee, a wee bit. Oh shit, this is the wrong one. Okay, love. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll, I'll text you later. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm better. I still sound like a 12 year old boy, but my voice is getting better every day. So there's that. That's cute. But oh, that was the other thing. Oh, and you can see where the where the blue and the purple and that didn't go into the design. Um, you can see that it, the white did. So let me show you. little bits of white and that and the blue went into the design. You can see some right there too. Thank you. Okay, now let's do something else. All right, Tammy, what colors do you want, sweetheart? All right, and I'm gonna pick a design. I want to. Uh, depending on the color, it will dictate what um, what I pull to use for the design. So, three colors, my friend, at least. You can pick more, but at least three colors. Everybody gets to play. Oh, 
bag has been terrible. <clears throat> Cheers. Okay. Let's do something wrong. Yellow, orange, and okay. So first things first, I'm going to put down um, sepia. I know I am. Sam, I am. Let's put down sepia. And um, I need to get some more clear gesso. I do, I do. Um, and we're probably going to pick up bits of this white and grayish color that's still on there, which is okay by me. Um, oh, I didn't shake this one. Make sure if you use, if you're, whenever you're using your inks, regardless of brand, that you always shake it, not up and down, side to side. Okay, Let's see if that's enough. Yeah, we don't need it too dark. That's good. Okay. Um, so let's do, let's do, oh, let's do one of my favorites. Let's do this one. Damn. I need, where's that? Hi, honey. How are you? We're making a mess today. Jelly printing fun. Okay. That's just a cleanup page. Okay. Try that. Please share out to your groups in there. Bring a friend. They might want to... Uh, Today or see some jelly plating. My mall, throw more color at it. Doesn't always end up. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> uh, yeah, I usually do a lot of cleanups. Um, that's just um, crusty bits are my favorite. You love painting messes? Well, I've already started. <laughs> just wait. My hands will be off ready by the time we are done today. Thank you. Everybody share out. Bring your friends. If you don't have any friends, bring your sister, brother, cousin, aunt, uncle, whatever. Okay. So, um, I want to make sure that I get just get one to the okay. yellow, orange, and west. Okay, so let's. No, I don't want that yellow. Let's, yeah, I want yellow ochre. And we want an orange. Oh, this is scarlet, but it's, it's more of a vermilion. Um, Let's see, what else do I have? Look at this one. Okay, this one's more orangey. This is Indian yellow, although it's very much an orange color. And then we have yellow ochre. And then for rust, um, I think I'm going to put um some bronze in there um for the rust color um okay um, liz hello hello welcome in lots of color choices yeah i have well i mean i don't i have most with the exception of the fluorescence i have all the fws which you guys which most of you know are my favorite and then I also have um, a couple of the Liquitex, which are my, oh, maybe we should use 
you know what? I'm going to use some copper and some bronze. Um, but I got gold. This one doesn't go in there. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of lots of colors to play with. Um, yeah, let's do this. Did I shake this one? I think I did. Thank you, Katie. Paula, welcome in, hon. Good to have you here. Did I miss Mama? Hi. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Mwah. For those of you who don't know, the Vivon is my mom. <laughs> welcome in, ladies. Okay, we're doing a fall setup right now. This was Tammy's colors. I'm gonna use that orange, more orangey. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna put a little bit in there. And I'm putting just, I mean, it look, it may look like I'm putting a lot, but these, these, I'm I'm barely putting anything on there. You know what I mean? Like I'm just just little dabs. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this. These are metallics, but it'll give us that rust color thing going on. Um, hopefully. Um, ooh. Oh, I'm almost out of that. Oh, my God. I got, oh, I got, I got to make, I got to, I got to stock up on some of my supplies after I get my pencils. All right. Um. Steffi, hi, honey, welcome in. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Share out to your groups and friends, bring your relatives. Sophia, you're going to have to repeat your colors in a minute as soon as I pull this one, okay? It's way up there. It's enough, man. It's enough. And if you have any questions about my process or what I'm doing or any of that, don't be shy. Um, I'm glad to help, recommend, advise, whatever I can. And there's no stupid questions, guys. Hello. Oh, it is. It is messy fun. If you're, again, if you're a type A person and you don't like to get your hands dirty, like you're OCD, you can't stand your hands to be dirty, this is not the process for you. But, you know. Oh, I forgot to, well, you can sort of see what's happening there. I got to clean that other side of the plate so you guys can see. You can see the design happen in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
course beep in there. Oh. I have never done this. Why did you dry the paint? Um you you build up layers and you get you get crusty bit going on. Um and they're just they're beautiful buildup of speckles of paint and stuff that that can really uh give texture to your prints it's all about the texture when you're doing um this this or like when i put down the sepia which is the very first color i put down and i put down it with a stencil i want i don't want to pull up that i don't want to disturb that design when i come back with another color to overlay so there's two reasons why you do it you want to you know i want i wanted the colors they're going to fall into the open places same with the white but if i don't dry that first layer it's going to disturb it when i go to roll it and whatever <laughs> Mama. <laughs> oh. Uh oh oh this one's nice nice oh yeah oh yeah you fall girls will like this one and we picked up some of the dark colors see crusty bits from the prior pool so this is what we did originally right this one okay so it has blue and purple and a tiny bit of black some white in there whatever so then this one it, when i pulled that print it left bits on the plate so now let me fold this in half so you can see some of the loveliness happening there but see it brought in that those darker colors and and by pulling it up with a light layer of a light color or a dark color whatever you choose you get those bits and they're called crusty bits so this is the whole print so see and then you can just you can rip and tear these and i see the you can see the design so see here this whoops see this line right here that's part of the stencil you can see it coming through <laughs> so we set that over there and i'm not going to clean the plate the whole day it's for the most part it's going to go but i do want to clean this side really quick i should so you guys can see the I can show you. We can see. I need to get. I want to get a bigger plate. Just don't have the money. I want to get. There's a. I think it's a 12 by 12 or 12 by 11 by 14. I don't know. Something like that. I need to get one of those. But it's all good. Let's see. Looks calm no no let's do i'll do some simple pulls how about that we'll just do some simple pulls for a minute for a hot minute jelly printing really isn't that complicated put down color put down a stencil or put well here and i'll show you the two different results we'll do, we'll do it both ways how about that where you put the stencil down first or you put the the the, the paint you know the paint on first okay let's see Baby oil conditions your plate and cleans it at the same time. So if you have jelly plates, you want to know how to clean them, baby oil is your best friend. This is dirty. Um, I used to have it on a glass, but I broke my glass when I was when I was doing one of my reorgs, my room reorgs. I, so if you can and you have a jelly plate, um, get up. Get a, a, a glass from a, a picture frame, tape up the edges, and stick your plate on there, to, it, and you can move it around and do whatever. It's a little bit easier. Okay. You don't need Katie then. I'm going to show you some simple pulls. How oh, your daughter calls right before my life. Okay. All right, so Jill, pick a color. Pick a color. 
and I'm gonna show you two different ways with that with that color. Pokey, hi love. So pick three colors to, or one color at least. Give me some, give me a color combo. Yeah, two colors at least. Okay, mustard, that's this one. What else you got? Give me another color. We need some contrast. And what, and I'm using inks, but if you're just using acrylic paint, you don't have to do the pre-step of the clear gesso. Um, that's, I have to do it because uh, the inks are like watercolor and they'll beat up on the plate. I'm getting better. It's still crackly and all that, but definitely, definitely better than I was. And it's cracking. I definitely sound like a 12 year old boy now. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, I've been sick, Mama. I got the grands gave me a head cold, and I've been sick for well, gosh, this whole month now. Uh, well, no, it's been a month because I was sick. Got sick like the last week. No, the sec second to last week of the last month. Um, okay. Olive green, of course. Okay, so let's do let's do the olive green first, which is my the girl is talking about colors. My olive and this olive green from the FW Daily Ramoni is absolutely a gorgeous green. Melrose. Let me finish mixing it. Well, no, we're going to use both colors. Let me show you. Okay, look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful, Paul. It's like the perfect all green. Wait. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's do this. If I can. Oh, the thing was clogged. Hold on. Got to clean up my mess. I'm really getting messy today. All right. Um, I forgot I got to put my. You too, Mama? Yeah. Well, and you know, it's not good for us to get sick, you know, but, and when I get sick, it lasts, you know, month or so every time at, at least a month um kind of like this one it's straggling but it's getting better um okay i'm gonna put down some olive green so you put down your color it doesn't matter if you're using acrylics or not and, and you anything i do with what products i have you can do with acrylics you could you could even use pan pastels on your plate which i which i like to do too um we're gonna okay we're, we're going to do the first way of putting down color. It looks, it, it, and it's really not a lot. It's really thin. Look at that green color. Look at how beautiful that olive green is. Oh, M G. It's my favorite. Out of, you know, besides my watercolors, it's my favorite olive green out of any of the mediums I have. Okay, so now we're going to do, let me get one that's got big holes. All right, let's use our, let's use circles. Everybody likes circles. So I'm going to put the circle. So this is the way you put the paint down. Then you put the stencil down. And you use a cleanup sheet to lift out the color from your, your openings. Okay. And cleanup sheets can become very interesting at the end of the day. Okay, so now I'm going to lift up my stencil. Okay, I'm going to. I'm. I, I'm because I'm. Uh, I'm going to dry this just a little bit. Um, and you don't have to dry it. You know what? We're going to do simple. I'm just going to go ahead and um, put down the yellow. Oops. That might be too much, but it's all right. It's all right. I'm going to lightly go over. Probably going to disturb some of what was on the plate already. But the yellow is going to fill in those spots. Okay. 
So then you take your paper, and I'm, I like to use tracing paper because it gets all crinkly. Here's your ASMR moment, guys. Put that down. Spread it out. So you put down your color, put down your stencil, lift out from the negative places, and then put your uh, other color in, and then you're going to lift the print. Um, now this mixed it with the green and it came up more yellow, but as it dries, and you can see, I should have put more green in there, but you can see bits of it. And because because it kind of mixed, it disturbed the stem. But that's okay, that's a good yellow, green page. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same colors. Bye, Mom, I love you. Lorna Lou, what are you doing, ma'am? How are you? How's that new room uh, working out for you? I want more green this time. More green, less yellow. So, oh, I didn't want to do that. Darn it. I wanted to show you. There's another way. Let me just put this on here. Let me just put this on. I need a new cleanup sheet down. I wanted to show you. There's another way to do this. Let's just, let's just fix this. There. And I could have let the stencil down. Like if you don't want to dry it, let me put it back down. This is the way I was going to do. I was going to put the stencil down first and then put the color on top, which you can totally do. And it's going to fill in better because it's got that. It's, it's protecting the green. And I think what I'm going to do is also put a little bit more green in here. Don't be afraid to mix your colors. You know, get messy, get jiggy with it, as I always say. Okay. So first things first. Um, no, I'm just going to go with it. Turn up. There's no right or wrong. Um, the only note about your jelly plate, don't use don't use your heat gun. Use a I'm using a blow dryer on cool setting and don't use anything sharp. Hi Taylor, welcome to my channel. Izzy. Make sure you guys ring that bell, hit the like button. You know, life. Hitting that thumbs up is free, doesn't cost you anything. And see, now you can see, you can already see the design through the paper happening. And this kind of gives you an idea, I mean, it, what it's going to look like, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you really want to pull everything up from your plate, just get, get, give it a good burnish with your hand. Or you can use the back of your, like this. Your rare. Aw, Liz. Thank you, honey, for the super sticker. That is awesome. You're amazing. And because I either dried or let the stencil down, you're going to see more of that um, design now with still getting bits off the plate. And it's lovely because you just get these little hints of stuff happening in different places. And you may not like the whole print, but if you're working on collage, this little bit, or maybe you're making pockets for a journal or something, you know, 
uh, put, you can, you can, yeah, you can do so much with your jelly today. Isabel, is it okay that I called you Izzy? <laughs> oh, you haven't used it yet? Oh my gosh, girl. Thank you so much. But you got to get, you got to get your hands in there, Liz, because I know you would love some paper today. All right. Somebody else, give me colors, at least three colors. Yeah, you are Lorna Lou. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what we should do, Liz? We should go on live, get Katie and and, and and do a do some jelly printing live on your channel. So you can uh, okay, pink, gray, and white. We can do that. I have a beautiful gray. Did you like that olive green that was happening there, ma'am? But yeah, we should. Here's gray and white and pink. Okay, so I have my white here. Where's my pink? Okay, so we have a schnazzy. This one is pearlescent, so it's a little bit um, see-through translucent. So we have that pink. I have the um, permanent magenta, which is a very vibrant uh, pink. And let's see. And this one I have... And here's a quinacridone violet, which is pinky. Here's another one. Oh, magenta too, so we don't need that. All right, so these are the three pinks, Paula. One, do you want any of, uh, which one of these do you want? And do you want more than one? Now I can crack them. Yes, I know. I, I heard you say that yesterday or the day before or whatever. Yeah. See? Okay. Or the first first one. Okay. Maybe I'll put, put a dash of that. Okay. So, quinacridone violet, cool gray, and a little bit of pearl S and pink. Um, and I have the white. Okay. So, let me pick a stencil. One that will be fun. And show you guys really in this oh oh let's use this one this is always a fun one okay so the first thing I want to do this is letters so I'm gonna put down um let's put down the white. it'll give us the base oops uh, all right and i'm going to clean up my brayer i don't care that it gets dirty but if i want to use white as a base i don't want it to get all yucky and you know as long as you're you don't let your stuff get crusted up on there um but you can soak any of this stuff except for your jelly plates any of your tools, paintbrushes and stencils, etc., in a uh, Murphy's oil bath. That'll clean up any acrylic. Um, yeah. It's a Murphy's oil bath. So we put that on. Get the paint nice and spread out. Nice, even layer. Right, <laughs> it is. It can be messy, um, and I think it's more messy with acrylic paints. Um, but it is so much fun. You just got your. It is white paint, baby. Yep, just the paint. That's the only acrylic, other than the fact that these are acrylic and permanent. These are acrylic inks, and this is acrylic paint. 
This is the only acrylic paint I have in my studio. I don't, I don't do acrylic. Acrylic's not my jam, man. Definitely not my jam. Oh, I've been sick for the past month. I got a head cold. For, see, I get a head cold and it lasts forever. But yeah, towards the end of the second to last week of last month, my grandson came over with a head cold. And so um, I'm, oh, I've been over the cold for like a week and a half now, but my voice doesn't, um, it, I always get really bad sick when I get a cold. This is why I can't get sick. Good, good. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna dry this so we don't disturb this. Now we're going to make we're gonna do our, our pink and gray. Down. We might need more gray. Um, actually, a little bit more magenta. I don't want that gray to take over. And I'm just going to put a dab of this in places. Barely any paint. You really don't need a lot of. Look how little paint I have on my plate. Um, yeah, you really don't need a lot of paint, um, especially if you're going to do a pickup layer. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's see what we get. I can already tell it needs more gray. Ah, there we go. And you, if you want to keep the kind, the colors meshing but not uh, mixed, kind of, you know, I got like you can see the gray and the pink. Um, on here. Um, don't over mix your paint. Just let it just do a couple swishes. Just make sure it's covering. Okay. Cheryl, go up. Right? I'm getting there. I still like to sound like a 12 year old boy going through puberty. But yeah, get there. No, it's the 25th. We can have the 25th. I will be screening on Thanksgiving Day. Um, I do the, I do that in support of those that may not have a family um, or anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. So I always stream on Thanksgiving Day. So, or if you just want a place to hang out away from the kids and all the crazy, um, yeah, I'll be on the subway that day for a while um, i do that on christmas and thanksgiving because i know there's a lot of people out there that don't have family so i i'm your family for the day i'll be your family okay now i want to pick this up now i'm going to bring in um white again but now i'm going to do a very thin layer almost um, nothing on the plane let's see how that goes I want it slightly, I want the paint to be slightly wet, but I want a really thin coverage. Almost so where you can see the design underneath it. See how the lettering, oh no, yeah, you guys can see it. Oops, the leather, the lettering is coming through. I don't want to dry out my paint. Okay. So. And I don't mind wrinkles in my prints, but I'm going to, oops, I'm going to try to get as little wrinkles for you guys as possible on this one. And I have several jelly plating lives on my channel going back to whenever. So don't be afraid, or don't, if you if you want more, you know, um, you can see you can kind of see what's happening there. Look, you can see the letters and the pink. 
can't see the gray, but it's there. And I'll show you when we, when we pull up the print. Um, and when you're doing this, where you're trying to get all the layers, if you're doing several layers, uh, again, a really thin uh, pickup color um, and really burnish the paper. And I, this is another reason why I like using tracing paper, not to mention it gets all crackly, uh, crinkly, uh, especially when it's got paint on. But I can I can see how it's developing. And when you put, use this in collage, because when this this paper acts kind of like um, uh, napkins or rice paper, it goes it goes really anything that's what uh, uh, the paper that doesn't have paint on it will go translucent when you go to it um, and here it down. And make another quick drag. Thank you all for coming and being here. Hope I uh, nothing else inspire you to get out and make a mess. You can pull up your corner to see how well your print is coming. And if it's cool to the touch, it means it's not dry. You want it dry so it can pick up all those layers. If your paint is too thick or too wet, it's not going to pick it up. You want it to dry to the paper. Um, and that's another reason why I do tracing paper most of the time because uh white uh paper you know the, the printer paper um first of all it's not as sturdy to do the pull and also you can um end up um leaving it, it can peel the paper oh this is pretty it, i think it just needed probably some gold or something but there you go See why I dry it? Yeah, that's a pretty print, Paula. Good choice. Anybody else want to play? Give me some colors. I'm not going to clean the plate. It's going to stay as is. Very writing English and speaking. That's why you don't go live. Don't worry. If you want to go live, we'll be there to, to help you out and support you. Don't have to, you don't have to speak proper English. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And come on, somebody else give me three colors. Red, black, gray. How did I know that that was coming? <laughs> All right, so here's my crimson red. Put this away. It should actually, and this should have a little sparkle because of, um, we need to get outweighed by the matte. Oh no, there's a little bit of sparkle pink there. So yeah, there's a little bit hints of the, the, uh, translucent paint coming through. I'm going to leave that out because that's a, it's okay. Um, okay, so we want red, black, gray. Actually, I need that gray. <laughs> I need my gray. So, so. No, this is my silver. Where did I show? Oh, I left it in here. Okay, and we got our red. We need black. And, oh, that's out here too. My base color is the corner. Oh, I keep this in black. Okay. Um, what color do we want down first, uh, uh, Lizzie Dean? What color do you want down first? Let's see, I don't want to use the circles again. I'll show you guys something else. Um, let me find another one that has a lot of open, a lot of big openings. Uh, are you kidding me? Which color you want? first. Oh, oh, this one's fun. We'll use this one as our base one. Okay. Um, red. Okay. She wants red first. 
do. I got yellow on that hat. I must have touched when I put the flat down last time. And you, this is just uh, clear gesso, or you can use matte medium. Um, this just helps um, because I use a liquid medium that'll bubble up at, on the jelly plate because this is like plastic and this is like a water medium. I use clear gesso or, or you can use matte medium. Doesn't matter. Um, oh, bad. Oh, got to shake it. Did not shake it. Make sure you shake your paint um, and make a mess while you're doing it. I must have had some on the rim. Ah, it's still coming out. What the hell? I must have had too much on the rim. Let me wipe that. I'm going to look like a murder scene here in a minute. Okay. I must have had some in the much in the hose it the dropper because those colors are bold see how it wants to bubble up and the clear gesso prevents any water medium because i also use watercolors on my jelly plate um, but yeah, the clear gesso or matte medium, or you could eat ID. Um, if you want more of a translucent look, you can even use glazing medium, which I which I use. You need a catalyst to help it stick to the plate. This stencil is a little bit because um, I this is one I cut myself back when I had uh, my silhouette out. Um, so it's cut on. Um, page divider so it's a little bit thinner material to work with okay let's see let's use this one and sometimes your cleanup prints come out better than your other prints Ooh. You know what? Mm -hmm. Let me use a little bit of. I'll come back now. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just. Okay, let me dry this. Remember, blow dryer on cool setting. Do not use anything hot or sharp with your jelly plate. The heat will make it burn, catch on fire. <laughs> Literally, um, and then obviously anything sharp. I don't use, uh, get yourself some plastic uh, tools to use. And remember, black is not your best friend, so use it very sparingly. And I rarely use black anyway. I'm more of a Payne's gray girl. I find black to be a very dead color, in my opinion. So let's see how this all fell in. Good, we're not getting too much black. And I'm going to use a little bit more clear gesso just to help it go because I took off the clear gesso. Oh, oh I got to go wipe those stupid dogs in. I keep forgetting to go do that. Ugh. You can hear them barking out there at the neighbor's dog. And I don't want to over mix. Because I don't want the gray to turn black. And then ooh, we're going to do something else. Where is the other one? Let's use mm, 
Let's see, I used to. Um, mm, that's why I got the big opening split because I wanted to, I need something. Okay, let's use this one. Oops. Yeah, no fires, right? <laughs> okay. I'll take that one off. Do your layers. We're gonna see. We're gonna really do the gusto on this one. We're gonna come in with another layer of red. How about that? Fill in all of these little holes. And then we're gonna pick it up with white. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Shirley, let's not do that. I mean, if you're careful and you hold it way, you know, far, far, far up there, you can, you can get away with it. But I just don't recommend it for newbies because I don't catch your house on fire. Or, you know, burn your desk, you know, burn your plate, you know. <laughs> okay, let me go let those dogs in while that's dry. I'll be right back. Okay, let's come back with a little bit of red. Now I'm going to bring this one because this one is ruby red. I must just take a little bit more deeper than that one. Come on. Yeah, this, I think this is a little bit deeper of a red. This is, I just use a baby wipe to clean my, when I'm working, you know. Um, I don't want to contaminate the red so that it becomes overtaken. Fill in, yes, that's a nice deeper red. Then, oh, let me see what they're up to. Stay out of stuff. I don't know what y'all are getting into. Stay out of stuff. And to do the, um, to pick up all these layers, you need all the layers to be dry before you use your uh, pickup color. Very little uh, white. You want a really thin layer. Basically, you just want it wet enough so that um, the paper sticks to the layers. Okay. 
and there's a little bit of contamination there, but that's okay. I don't, I don't care. This is just to pick up the, just to give it a little something, something. I'm not going to pick it up and show you guys what it looks like. I want you guys to be surprised. It's part of the fun of it. You never know what you're going to get. And you and I could use this same rotation and get similar prints, but you can never make the same print twice. Just so if you want, if you like the print, you better be copying it. <laughs> so you'll never make that same print again. You can get variations of it, but she'll never make that same one print. Reveal. Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie Bean, you're going to love it. Probably could have used a little bit more gray, but I think it's a beautiful print. And you can see bits of the, the stencil work in there. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Let's let's work on some steam pump, huh? All right. Let's put. Let me see what stencil we're gonna use. Could possibly use that one. Um, let me see what else I have in here. Um. Oh, we can use this one. This will be a perfect thing for that one. Okay. And I think I'm going to put the steps down first. Okay. So this is going to put just all what we've been mostly doing is getting the outline, right? And cleaning up the inside. This time we're going to put paint just in the little hole, okay? Just in the little hole. And I'm gonna use these colors. And sepia, which is my favorite brown. Let's see, and let's use a little bit of terracotta red. Okay, yeah, let's use these colors, All right? So let's do, Before I put that down, okay. just want to keep the colors. And this probably wouldn't have mattered much because the pink would have faded in with all the rust and stuff, but whatever. You know. And you might even find where some a lot of my stencils are dirty. I have used this one. It looks a little cleaner, but you can tell it's been used. Um, so this is another way you can do it, which I was going to show you guys earlier. Um, but you can put the stencil down first. Now let's put our our lovely rusty rusty colors. I forgot to use this one earlier when we were doing last. This is um, it's a really good 
rusty. Now this is uh, red earth or terracotta. We're gonna use some copper, of course. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of um, bronze. I like to mix the copper and bronze. If I'm trying to make a rust, okay, let's first do that. Yes, get that going. Make sure you get the paint in those holes. Okay. Okay, this one definitely needs to dry. Get that there for a second. Okay, dry this. Thank you. Thank you, girls. I'm glad you I'm glad you love it, Lady Bean. My girl. All right. Don't need red. even get paint on my elbow. I don't, I, I don't, I'm a little asleep about clean, but when I'm doing this, I can get dirty with the best of them and then just clean later. <laughs> so I don't really have a problem getting messy. And you can tell when the paint's dry, obviously. Nine baby plates? Yeah. I want to make sure this is good and dry. So when I come in with the next layers, it doesn't um you don't move the design if you want to mix a little bit then no big deal but i want to try to keep these um as intact as possible and you know prints are great for using an uh, apc background um mixed media collage um if you do paper painting um they're good for that I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and just, I don't wanna disturb it, but I wanna make sure none of it's wet. Cause then it'll have a chance to disturb it. Let's just clean that up. Good. So you got all the little speckles off. Okay. Now, come in with the brown. This is sepia. Sepia is my favorite brown. Typically, usually, I am just making a mess everywhere. That's okay. Jelly plating is not for the faint of heart for messiness. I'm just, I'm just saying. Y'all better, y'all better be prepared to get jiggy with it. You know, you can be cleaner. I just don't worry about it because after I get off here with you guys, my butt is jumping in the shower. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of brown. Fill in. Um, where the holes are. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to take, let's use this one. Oops. Crappity do. Come on, Sean, get it together. Okay. 
And I'm going to pick it up with black. Or actually, I'm going to pick it up with Kane's uh, gray. No, black. I'm going to do black. Black or um, either one of them would look great, but I, I'm going to do black. Okay. Not picking up with white this time. We're picking up with black. So I'm going to put just a little bit um, more than I would normally put. Put, yeah, in the black because um, I need it to be, you know, you do need it to be slightly wet, but you want a really thin layer. And it's going to look a lot black right now because whatever's on top is in the background. Just remember that. And you can also do stuff where if you like what's on the plate in the front, take some um, take some packing tape, clear packing tape, and you could make strips. And, and what it'll show is actually what you see here, not the reverse, which is what we get with jelly plate. Little, little something, something there for you guys. Oh, and we there's a little there's little specks of red in there too. Okay, I should have put uh, I should have came with another layer of the copper and stuff. Which here let me you can see it. See, and I want you to see the um if we can get the metallic to show. It's in there, but it's uh, we got more of that terracotta rusty color. <laughs> and if I if, if if you pick up more, look at all this crusty goodness on my plate. Um, you know, but these can still you can still cut these out and put them um, as A to C background. Okay, not cleaning the plate. Um, let's do something bright. I'm um, not bright, but maybe a little bit brighter and a little bit colder. Let's see. Ooh, maybe we should, yes, let's use this stencil next. And uh, this is another one I cut myself, so you can't buy it. Um, oh, yeah. Let's do this one. This is dark green, verdy green, or forest green sort of light color, um, but more on the, the teal side. It's more of a really, yeah, we're going to use that. And wait, no. We're going to get my favorite, which is marine blue. This is one of my absolute favorite colors in this paint line. And we're going to use a little bit of gold. And um, where's my olive green? Let me put that in there. And we need, no, let's use. Yes. No, let's use purple. This one, this one. Oh, wait, is this one? No. Where is? Okay, so we'll use, no, we'll use my purple. Okay. All right. So first things first. What color do I want first? I'm gonna go with oh. Make sure I'm not missing any questions. It's perfect. <laughs> All right. Look at all those crusty bits. We will pull that up at the end. We'll get all that at the end. It's not even, but whatever. I haven't put color down yet, so I can. That's not good. I forgot. 
forget that this is smaller, smaller than the plate. Okay, that's good. This is my absolute favorite, this color. This. And I keep an extra jelly plate over here um, in my brayer off on. Okay, let's pick this up. Oh, wait. Mm. Do I want to pick this up? No. I'm going to pick the stencil up first. Pretty waters. Let's try that. It is. It's, it's that perfect teal color. I know it's looking very blue in the camera, but it's got green in it. You could. It's marine blue. It's, it's definitely a teal with color. Jesse Poo, are you still there? Do I still have Mark in the chat? Just want to make sure. Is he put a bit, a bit on, right? <laughs> oh, and you love the stencil too? Yeah. You can't you can't get it. It's one I did myself on um when I had my silhouette. Okay. Now I don't mind that there's a tad bit wet right so it's gonna come in now we're gonna do some green and the olive green this is not mixed up at all that's why i'm not getting you're here just dusting <laughs> okay uh, yeah i know i know sis was here i know you were here i don't know what a uh, Pookie's here, right? Pookie, you're still with me. <laughs> Just make sure my oh, and you would think that green and purple may not mix, but it does. And then you have the blue. It's all good. It's all good. It's gonna be fine. Shh. Fill that in. Oop. Don't over mix. You will get. Brown. Down over mix. And I don't mind uh, spots if they mix um, for sure, um, but I don't want to over mix. Okay. We're just going to dry that just the way it is. Pookie, how are you doing today? New and uh, new side of the world. I want to completely dry this layer. Bye, Lorna. Have a great day, Don. Thanks for stopping in. Love and hugs. Again, pick up anything that might not be dry. Okay. Let's 
see that there's a white spot there. Okay, now we come in for the tail. Just a little. You want it to be a really thin layer so you can see through it. Can you get your paper out there quickly? There's my pookie. How are you doing, honey? Quiet. Sammy, are you still here? Are you sleeping? Oh, it's so quiet. Here we go. And it's picked up some of the coppery colors. Uh-huh. Oh, honey. Anything I can do to make you feel better, you know, you text me. Some of that rusty color in there. You get some of the purple peeking out. Oh, look at that. You're not getting much of the designs. I can see them in there, but that's okay. Because this is like, you know, you can die cut this. Yeah. And it'll get it'll change when as it dries. Now somebody give me three colors. <laughs> Judy. Hi, how are you, Miss 333? How's things? Glad you stopped in to say hi. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Yeah. That's, I mean, and look at how much I picked up already. I mean, all those crusty bits are in there. I can see them. Oh, here's a really good spot. Look at that. You can see the copper in there that I picked up. Pretty, pretty, pretty print. Um, who, who's next? Who wants to pick three colors or four colors? As long as. So. Thank you, ma'am. And I can tell you, if you're a member of my channel, you get free access to my prints. The Christmas background. Yeah, I can see it. It probably needs, it probably would have been, for Christmas, it probably would have been good to have some red in there. Um, but yeah, it could definitely be Christmas. Mm -hmm. Come on, there's 13 people in this room. Who wants to give me three colors? I need something because I'm freaking hot all this. Here. I'm hot flashing like a mobile. Nobody wants to give me three colors. 
Come on, peeps. You guys got to have favorite color combos. Oh, Christmas over the Oh, I see. Yes, 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 yes. I see. I see. And Liz, your your package hasn't come come out gone out yet. Um, right? Yeah, I just printed the things today. Oh no, yours will be going out next week. I'm gonna stick this red print that you made in your in your in your in your package. Purple, teal, white. Okay. I do have the metal color. Let's do Katie's purple teal white, which is easy. Okay, let's let's do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use my rain blue. It's my best teal. Um, let me see what I got over here. more green. This one. Well, that's the door. That's not. That's All those ones are more blue or more green. Nothing in the middle. We'll use this one. Um, and we'll just do there's my purple. There's the purple. And let's see. Let's do. Let's do white down first, um, and then we can fill in. So, there is the dog hair or cat hair. Oh, and I'm going to show you guys something else fun, too, ha, after this. Okay, let's do purple teal white. So um, let's do one of my favorite stencils, Tumbleweed, this is called. Okay. Pick up the white. <laughs> well, you can get it free if you become a monthly member of any channel. But um, I can, I can give it to you because I don't think your package. Um, oh yeah, yours hasn't gone out yet either. So I will um, let me put these two aside so they can dry, and I'll put them in your guys' bag. Ow! Oh, oh, it just hit my knee, man. Now, I could have left a stencil on there, um, but I like to cover the plate. It gets more interesting that way. I'm going to make sure that this design really stands out. Oh, I said in your package, I'm going to put that red print for you. I'm going to send it off in your package. Okay, Cheryl, hang on to that thought. Uh, I'll get you after we do the, the metal color. Or, yeah, well, after we do the metal. So hold on to that thought. So have it ready for copy and paste. Katie's real. She's in. <laughs> this is a a, 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 a a shimmery purple. What the heck? Oh. 
haven't used this in a little while, so I've got to unclog the unclog the spout. Stay up there. You're over there. Okay. Mix that purple. This purple. That's just to give it a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of interest. Okay. down. I said bright purple. Okay. And I'm not going to use a stencil. Just going to, I need a clean paper. We're going to use this, first of all. This is uh, just text. And it's one of those, uh, what you call it, molds from Stamp Maria, but I want to, I want to see if we can get some interest going with um, text on here. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. Oh, don't mess up your design. I did make imprints, so I don't know what it's going to look like. But we're going to see. It's all about playing. You, ne you never know what you're going to get. Just play. That's the whole thing about jelly printing. You can play until your heart's content. Seriously. And there's no right or wrong. And you never know. Some of the, You can mix colors you didn't think you could mix by drying them in between and whatnot. And you preserve them. Or you can totally just go at it. You never know how they're going to mix. Like, did you know that blue, green, and pink uh, do not make much? If you do it right. Just say that. Now the teal, and I'm going to put a little bit of um, red gesso on that. Make sure it uh, stays down. And again, you don't have to do this step with acrylic ink or acrylic paint. Paint. It's um, it has it has the binder that will stick to the plate, whereas anything like liquid medium. Uh, will will beat up if you don't use a catalyst. Okay, just put that on there, and let's bring in the teal. And because we dried the layers, the teal is going to mostly be in the openings. Nice, pretty teal color. I love that color. This marine blue is like my absolute favorite too. Okay. Um, do I want to put another stencil? No, I'm going to dry this. You're so tough. Yes, and that's part of the fun too. You know, you play and you can, you can surprise yourself. You know, you never know what you're going to get. So get out those jelly plates, girls. And give them a go. You see, it's not seeing the design come through now. It's still too good for the purple. Oh, that's awesome, Shirley. You guys will have a lot of fun together.
드리고요. 저는 이런 것 같아요. 제가 그렇게 됐나요? I don't really worry about how much of a mess I make. Um, I am pretty clean, though. You know, I've got, I've got, you know, um, mat underneath my extra jelly plates, and I got it on my glass mat, so it just totally comes off. And Shirley and, and Liz, when you guys get your papers, they'll be nice and crinkly. I should have put more for the edges. We might uh, skip some. I don't know how much I put the edges, but I'll know in a second. Get some good pressure. I don't have a lot of hand strength, so the brayer is helpful if you have prop hand problems. Or, you know, so the brayer is nice to have. I forget, but you're going to love this print. <laughs> Definitely going to love this print. Katie that picked these colors. <laughs> oh, this definitely gives me this gives me an ocean vibe. Oh my gosh, which we could see this print. Ready? But damn. Oh, look at that. Katie, if you want this, I will sell I will send this to, send this to you. I don't know if you have a package for me, but at one point, at some point, um, and look, we got more of the crusty bits off. We did get good in the corners. Look, there's bits of copper in there from uh, the crusty bits. Uh, look, we got bits there, bits in there, bits all around the edges. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Mermaid scales. Yep. All right, I'll put this one over here because I'm going to draw this up for Katie's name on it. All right, Shirley said metallics, right? So we need a base color for the metallics though. Uh, um, let me think, what color? Let me just use my paint gray, we'll do that. I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put a little black in the mix with the, so let me get out a stencil. Let's do this one differently. Um, oh, I know what stencil I'm gonna use, let me find. This one, this one will be fabulous. All right. Make sure your tops are on. All right, let me use my paints gray and there's some gold. Okay, uh, first things first, look at all those bits on there from that purple and blue. Oh, 
Okay. Um, just so. Um, you're going to wa rewatch from the beginning? Yeah. I have, like I said, I have several videos and I've done several things. I'm going to show you guys something fun after, after this pull, after we do Shirley's pull and we will use, uh, Cindy's colors to do it. How about that? I'll show you. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. My girls have seen me do it. Okay. And then a little bit of gold. Copper, bronze, and gold. Oh. Ha, that's an encrusty bit. <laughs> well, there's. Come on. This, I use the gold a lot, so it's got it's got bits around the because I don't never clean. I never clean. I really I never clean my bottles. Oh, oh my god, I'm I'm basically out of my gold. Eek. That's not good. Okay. I have to be able to get somehow there. I use that gold lot. gold. Oh I mean. And yeah. So got a good mix going on. Oh, let me get a fresh piece of paper so it really gets down in those little crevices. It's hard with tighter stencils, so I tend to give it a little bit more love when I'm trying to get to the negative spot. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. See, just just a pull it print. That's just pretty, just like that. I'm not even gonna touch it. Leave it. Um, oh, yeah. Let's try this. Um, yeah, we're just going to pick it up just like this in a minute. I'm just going to use this as my pickup color. I want this to be in the background. It's not black. It's paints gray. So it's right. I have to write one. Um, it's not black is a very dead color to me. This, this is paints gray is it's, it's blue, black, and it's just kind of, it's just a little more lively. But with the metallics, you really kind of need a dark color. I mean, they show up in white too, but not as much. Look, this this one looks with the metallics and a little bit of there's a little bit of gray in there there's a little bit of the blue in there. so it's like getting a patina effect look at that 
And that's just a cleanup print. Or a pick. No. It's not a cleanup print. It's just a, you know, intermediate pull. And with acrylic paint, it dries faster. So, you know, you may not um, have to use the blow dryer as much um, in between your layers. Um, you have how much paint. Um, and you'll get used to it. At first, you'll probably either use too little, but most often you'll use too much. <laughs> and you'll figure it out. I'm gonna pee. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty. Little dark, but you can see. Um, yeah, you can see the see the shimmer happening there. It's got bits of I can see bits of the gray uh, the gray in here that was still in the white. I can see bits of white. Um, look at the shimmer though. Let me tilt it. There we go. All that shimmer. I could see uh, a hint of purple too. Definitely steampunky. That'd be very nice. Okay. Uh, Cindy, you're up, girlfriend. What? I think it was Cindy, wasn't it, Cindy? Who, who had the last, who had colors? Where are you? Bring your color. Do your paste. <laughs> Cut and paste. Yeah, the shimmer. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to show you guys something too. Oh, the pens are more her color. Oh no, Cheryl, Cheryl, give me your colors, love. One of these two. Show you guys a trick. Mm -hmm. So she tells me colors, and I'll show you guys. So what's everybody doing today? Hmm? What are we all up to? It'd probably be easier if I can go back and chat. See if I can find it. Teal, orange, and white. That's what she wanted. Okay. Teal, orange, and white. Okay. So. Looking for my orange. Let's see. This one. Where's my orange? Orange, I like this one. I also have another one. Oh, here. Okay. So, hmm. I'm going to use this one. Hi, Chris. Okay, love. No problem. Okay. Cheryl wanted this combination teal, orange, and white. So, do I want. No, white's going to be our pickup. We're going to do. Orange first. We're going to do orange first. And we're going to use we're going to use oh, I know what we can use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's use this one. Mm -hmm. Do I want to 
Yeah, so let's do it first. Oh, yeah, Shona, I forgot to wipe my, not that I really care, but let's keep, let's keep our orange from getting like yucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit better. It's awesome, but here, but I just need it to stick to the plate. Okay. We're making a mess, Chris. What are you up to, honey? Both sides are cruddy, but I don't I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Pretty pretty. It's a yellow orange. I know I love that orange. It's not too pumpkin -y. I have a pumpkin orange, but I typically don't use it very much. If I get, I did not get in the cleanup paper. And I don't mind that there's some in the, but I still want, I want to get a lot out of those stencils. I don't want that the lace after. <laughs> um okay, but I have the first all these prints need to first go to my uh, members and moderators so they get free dibs on all my art prints and all my painting papers, all my, you know, they get, you know, they get all, all of that uh, with their monthly membership. So once I scan all this stuff, then, um, but I'll put your name on it. Um, so I, I know. And we'll go back through all the prints I pulled today. Okay. Now we're going to do a little, and I just should have done it, but we're going to do it now. We're going to do it now. And I'm going to bring in, these are mica flakes, gilding flakes, whatever. And yes, you can put these on in your, on your jelly plate. It will come up. And I just push them down with my finger. So here's another use for your, your, um, if you have these and you haven't known what to do with them, you can spice up your jelly plate prints with this. Let's get a little bit of copper over here. And gold. I just I'm going there with my finger. Oops. Don't need that many. Shh. Thank you. We're making a mess here. Quiet. Let me get some of that. This is teal, gold, copper. It's got all kinds of fun colors in it. Okay. And don't sneeze or breathe when you're using these. <laughs> if you've never used them before because they go everywhere and they stick to everything. So 
So there you go. It is a lace stencil. Um, you can, th these are called badass stencils. These, I have a couple different ones. This one. Um, I need something dark. You guys can see what's going on here. Maybe this will work. Yeah, so there's that one. Uh, these are called badass stencils, and I can give you the numbers. Um, you can get these at Ice Stencils. This one's called Romance. Um, B A B, as in bad, bad girl, bad boy. Sixty six eighty six. This one that I just used, super pretty. This one is B A. It's called Vintage, and it's B A D. 6066 and again you can get them through iStencils.com now we used our orange cut that down now we're going to go in for the teal i like to push off just so they're i don't i don't press on them really i just kind of pat them down um so they don't um um so let me just stencil let me think about this we got the orange no we're not we're gonna go this And hopefully, because we dried the layers, um, we're not going to lose our orange. You see, they stay on the plate as long as you kind of press them down a little bit. Okay. Now, I think... I think we should we should pick up the black on this one, right? Or do I want to do white? Uh, no, I um no the black. Let's do I want the yeah, let's no, let's use paint screen. Hi Edna, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. We're just making a mess here today. Oh, um I will need some of this. Just, I just want to make sure that um, that it has enough stick to pull up the plate. Um, because I'm using a liquid product instead of acrylic paint, it might need a little help. Um, yeah, it just might need a little help. So getting the the flakes to stick. I mean, they would, but I want to pull up as much as I can. That's the point. Okay. Paper. Here we go, guys. So, yeah, you can pull up. You can use any colors you pull up. Typically, though, you want a white or like a Titan buff or black Payne's gray. Um, you can use, like I could have used, I could have just went in without putting a dark color behind it. But um, I want to show off that metallic we got going on there. And I don't know if we're going to lose any of the orange or not. I hope not because, you know, that was the whole purpose of drying in between. But, you know, there's always a chance with these darker colors for us to lose some of that lighter color. Um, but with using that lighter color first, 
and drying it before I went in for another color kind of helps ensure that you're going to preserve most of it. We need help. How dare they? You love the mess with paint? Shelly Clayton, girl. Especially if you like to do collage. And I've even, I even, I use my, my uh, prints in my digitals that are all, you know, you'll see that in my digital work too. Um, I use it with my background or, you know, my mixed media collage. Um, yeah. You can see if it's ready. Oh, it's almost ready. Almost ready. Don't hold your breath, girl, but it's almost ready. Oh, bot alert, bot alert. How many layers in this one? One, two, three, four, technically. Because uh, I, the, the fourth one was the flake. And the reason why Chris is asking me that is because I'm a layer girl. I just, I'll go, I'll, I, there's times I've done like six, seven layers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you girls are going to love this one. We did lose a lot of the orange. I should have did, uh, could have done it the other way, but. We did pick up all the flakes. Look how pretty that is. And you can see hints of the orange in there. Let's see, let me bring it up close. Make it a focus. So you can see, you know, and up close, you can see this, some of the stenciling that's there. But look at all that crusty goodness that's on top. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who wants to pick colors next? Who is next? What do we got? And there's still some residual of the uh, of the flakes. And you know what? I'm gonna turn it this way so we can pick up more. Um, but yeah, there's still residual the flakes there, which I don't care. They'll just come up when they come up. You guys got those bots? Did you guys get those? Yeah. No, there's still one in there. There's still one above um, how many layers. Um, if you guys can grab that one. That would be great. Purple teal, so purple teal and pink. Um, let's see. Let me grab a drink of water. The reason why I'm skipping the blue is because, well, you know what? No, let's just do all four: purple, teal, blue, and pink. How about that? Um, let's do a nice dark blue. Oh, I'm going to use indigo. Oh, oh. Hmm. Let's see. One of these. This is azure blue. You know what? We'll use that one. It's kind of, it's darker, but not, I don't think it's too dark. Yeah, it's from, we'll use the azure blue. And here's our purple. And here's my favorite teal. Um, and the pink, which is uh, this one. Okay, based on these colors. Um, and you know what? We're going to add. This is why I'm, let's do, let's. I'm not going to do, let's use silver. Huh. Michael, I'm almost out of gold, so we'll, I have, I, we'll use silver this time. I forget about that one and not use it. Okay, so let's do, yeah, 
Let's do this. Okay. Let's do a little bit of this. You do get those, uh, because those flakes get everywhere, I got them on my thing. But again, uh, all your tools and stencils, if you want to keep them clean, I don't worry about it because if something peels off of there, that goodness is just going to, oh, I don't really care um, when I'm doing this. So let's, let's do that. Let's take this baby down. There. Kind of warped in that place. I've I've uh, abused the stencil. Okay, now let's um let's pull some of the silver. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, it had a little bit of I had a silver booger there. Okay, we're gonna do that with the pink. Okay. Uh-huh. A little bit more pink. Uh -huh. Try this. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help it. I couldn't get to the mutant time. Off again. All right, sorry, I had to cough. Um, this did not dry up. Do, do some of this. I very, very rarely ever use this stencil, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. Wait, I want to put this in the towel first. 
<laughs> okay, I want to use a little bit of the circles here. I'm going to mm, And bring in the purple. Some on the side here. I don't. Where the hell is it going to be? Don't worry, the teal is coming. The teal and the blue is coming. Okay. We're, we're, we're creating a scene. Are we creating a painting? Sometimes I get impatient. <laughs> oh, she's making a card. Oh, Brands are the best. I love my boys and I love raising them, but I love raising my grandbabies a lot. Uh, I just, it's just different. And I enjoy it more than when I was raised. Because, you know, when you're a parent, you know, or for your kids, it gets different because, like, you're running around, you're working, you're, you know, you're doing all the, the mom and dad stuff, right? But with the grands, you get to, you just get to sit down with them and talk with them. And it's just, oh. Now, let's bring in the teal. But where's that one stencil here? This one. Now I'm doing it uh, upside down, trying to offset what was there. Now we're going to bring in a little bit of the silver and the teal. something when you're here in class yeah I, like i said i do i'm mostly a watercolorist and mixed media artist um i mean it's what i do i bring that into my journal work but uh you know into you know but 
genres can cross over and don't be afraid to play and don't be afraid to, you know, experiment. My thing is, is that it's more about the process and the play, play, play and play some more than anything else. Because you know what? You're never going to know until you try. You're not going to learn if you don't play. You know what I mean? So do what you enjoy and enjoy the process of doing that thing. Because why, why bother even doing it if you don't enjoy it? And if you don't try. Get that teal down in there. I want it everywhere. I want it. I want it like it is. Um, okay. And the blue is going to be our pick up. Yeah, I'll help you. Anytime you guys want to see something or 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 you have questions or you want me to try something so you can see it done, just let me know. I'm I'm always open for suggestions and always willing to help, you know. I'm hoping this is gonna turn out the way I want it to. No guarantee. And you know what? You can use pan pastels. I've done that. And you can use pan pastels to your stencils. Um, you can use, um, you can, you can paint on your jelly plate with like uh, acrylic paint and a brush. You can, um, there's, you know, as long as it's not going to heat it or burn it or cut the plate. All is fair game. All is fair game. Let's see. Did I put enough on? I did pull the right one, right? Oh, yeah. That's my pro. Okay. This is Prussian blue. This is going to turn out the way I want it to. Please turn out. Please turn out, everybody chant. Please turn out for Shauna. <laughs> because it's really for you guys. Again, if you're a member of my channel, you get free access to all my prints. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or, yeah, mods and members. So, and it's only $1.99. Um, shameless plug. Only a dollar ninety nine monthly, and you can cancel anytime. You could join now and go and print everything that's been out there and everything I'm gonna put out there, and then you could cancel next month. You know, you could just you know you can cancel and rejoin at any time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I know this one, this one. I know I got some some air spots there because I didn't put enough paint down for the pickup, but that's all right. We're gonna try to get up as much as we can. And some 
paper uh, in between is fine. That's why I don't mind wrinkles. And you know, you can do this on white paper, too. I just prefer to collage with anything that's really thin, tissue paper, that you know you can use napkins on your jelly plate. You don't want it to stick to it, but you can use it as paper if you're gentle. And Well, it couldn't quite turn out, and I had too many air bubbles, but that's okay. You can see splotch of the silver. You can see bits of the design in there. You can see the purple and pink, and the shimmer of the, of the silver. I was hoping that I didn't put enough pink down. Um, and there's still bits on the plate that we're going to pick up. Look at that. That just looks beautiful. I may just, you know what? We're just going to pick that up. By, we're going to do another print, another pull. Um, but I was hoping this would be more Christmassy um, with the silver. And it kind of is. But because I, I I didn't have enough paint down, not, uh, to, it, it was too thin. It dried before I got the paper on it. Um, but yeah, you can see the shimmer there. All right. I'm going to pick this up and I want to use white. And I'm just going to go, I'm just going to use my acrylic to pull it because I want to preserve whatever that is. Whatever is going to show, huh, that's what I want to pick up. All right. Not too much. Again, you need a thin layer. Um, should have got um, a um, jar of water for my knives, but that's okay. That Prussian blue is very potent, as you see. <laughs> but it's, uh, I want to get that up. It's going to be so pretty. You like it a lot it did come out pretty and i again i don't mind that there's because you know like with ones with these where you got a lot maybe a lot of space with this any thin papers like if you're collaging whatever you put underneath it is going to show so like imagine bits of this on like a background that you've put text on or something whether you stamped or collaged it's going to come up through those empty spaces so I don't mind the empty spaces at all. That's why I don't worry if they don't come out. I don't cry about it. I just keep going and, you know, I'll do it. This one's going to be nice too. Hopefully it'll look like a like city street. Not quite dry, Not quite dry all the way.
and those crusty bits right up. Oh yeah, ha, I like this one a lot. I like it a lot because bam. Look at, got some more bits of the, the flakes, got some of the silver going on in here. There's a little bit of pink and purple and blue. Now, let me see if I can show this. There you go. He's catching the shimmer in different places. Yeah. Oh, yes, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, what time is it? Okay, it's three hours. All right, that's that's enough. We're, I'm going to go through. I'm going to clean up here, and then we're going to go through the prints so you guys can see them all dry and, you know. I do take care of my tools. That will last longer. I don't mind paint dry it on my colors because I know I can um, clean all that off. So this needs to soak because it is a hot mess. I got it caked with stuff. Yeah, okay. I need to stick it in some uh, Murphy's oil soap. Murphy's oil soap baths, water, and and a little bit of Mercy, Murphy's oil soap. You can put your glue brushes in there. Like when I do collaging and stuff and I have all my glue brushes, I, I have a one of those plastic paint things in my kitchen, you know, you, you'd use on your desk for your paint brushes. And I keep that there and I'll just add a little bit of um, uh, Murphy's oil soap and water and let my glue brushes and paint brushes, my acrylic ones, not my watercolor ones, um, soak and think it, it, this one I didn't soak too long but even just a day probably it was a lot of it came off so it will it, and it'll clean your stencils anything that it's not water and that's not going to hurt and to clean your plates you can just use baby oil where did I put it oh, it's over here. I'm going to leave that on there that's not getting picked up because that's go, that might come out. Um, uh, I can get that off next time, right? But I am gonna clean my little plates. Let me just let that sit in there for a second. Okay. You can see, you can tell that my, my jelly plate is well loved well loved and the more when you first get your jelly plate don't be surprised if even your acrylic paint beats up on it because it's just the name the na it's not been primed it's not been used um simply using your jelly plate will prime it and so give yourself you know a good day of play to get it get it um used then you can wipe it off but it gets it doesn't like even when you clean off, like your jelly plate will have, it just conditions it, it primes it for paint. And then you won't have any problem. But now after you first clean it again with the baby oil, then yeah, it, um, it, will, uh, it will need priming again. I just like to make sure that there's like, uh, I like to press out most of the air bubbles when I put my clam back together. Um, so it doesn't cause divots in your plate. So I just come through here and just press it down really good. And then I just keep it in the clam shell. You, they say you, you really don't have to, or you sh maybe you shouldn't, but I've had this plate for like, I don't know, eight years. And you see it's still perfectly fine. Now, see that we had dried acrylic paint on there. That's just going to clean it right off. See that? Just come again with the 
baby oil. You can also use um, the cooking oil, I think, any kind of oil, as long as it's not um, got something in it. Like, you know, some oils have, have, like olive oil has, might have bits at the end or in it. Where's my clamshell for this one? Oh. Um, so yeah, don't use any oils that may have stuff in it because um, that would not be good on your plate. I'm sure you can clean it off, but you don't want to just, I just don't like anything that has, se any oils that have seasonings in it and stuff like that. I wouldn't use those on your plate. And baby oil is the best thing, really, honestly, because it, it won't hurt your plate. And um, it's easy to keep that in your craft room. Let's see, all this dry paint is just coming right off with the baby oil. So keep that in mind. Can you get both? Oh, both the ones I just pulled? Yes, I will. Um, once when we go through, as we're looking here, we're going to get ready to go through all the prints that we did today. Um, I'm going to put those that I'm going to give to people. Um, and put your name on the back. So I can st I'm gonna scan it. I'm still gonna scan it for the members. Um, but you get to get the re the original. Um, and then after I um if 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 you choose not to be a member, um stay tuned to my sales. Um, because what I do is I I bundle up and package um all the prints and sell them. And I'm making a mess here. Oh, here it is. See, I didn't clean this side last time. That's okay. It's going to take that off. Okay. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay, love. Have a great day. Okay, we're going to walk. We're going to. We're going to look through what we've done today. Ugh. And then I'll clean up this mess later. So after I go off camera, I'm not going to take any more time for that. Except for. Okay. Oh, that baby oil man just tears through acrylic so well. Okay. Good enough. Good enough for a viewing. Okay. These were our lift off prints. Um, nothing amazing today, but sometimes they are the bomb. Okay. And where's my I need to get my okay, my sharpie. Okay. So this this was could be over here. Let me get those over there. Okay, so Chris wants this one. You're lucky I'm giving this one out to a friend. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we have that one. Then this is Liz's. And, oops, come down a little bit, Sean. Come down a little bit. Where's my okay? Okay, then we have this one, which is Chris's.
Then we have this one. Or wait, was it? It wasn't this one. Oh, it wasn't this one. No, it wasn't that one. Mm. That one, it was this one, wasn't it, Chris? It was the opposite of this one. It was these two, right? That you wanted? Make sure, make sure it's these two and not that one. Yeah, I just didn't know if this was the other one. Um, Cause I don't think this one was. And then I know, is Izzy, which ones were you, did you, did you want to buy from me, honey? Yes, these two, okay. I just want to put your name on there. Yeah, we got some good prints today. Yeah, I don't know which ones you wanted, Izzy, but um, you can remind me. Then there's this one. Oh, the steampunk ones. Okay. So that would be this one. It's one of them. Tally King. Make sure uh, I'm gonna need you to email me, you know, your your information. This is just this was a pull-off print. Um, and it's got bits of all the goodness from before mixed in. So it looks um it has a very uh, very very much has a um a um what am I a patina. Um so you yeah, know you wanted this one. And then you wanted this one, right? Okay. Okay. And then we did this one. Pretty, 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 pretty this one is. And then where is the one that she Shirley wanted. I think it was this one. I don't remember. Ah, does anybody know which one? I think it was this one. Crap, because she's gone now. Um, oh, it was this one. This one was the one because it was not next to her. To, to, to Liz. Okay. So I need to put three different cards. Surely. That's what it was. Okay. Then we have some uh, chartreuse and yellow coming in. And then we have one that's um, more yellow than green, but it does have, you can tell that it's got green in it. I mean, you can. You guys, my eye on, you guys can see it. It's got, it just really has some lovely green bits in there because we use green parts. Oh, the, as this one dried, it came out even, it, it came out even better. Look at that. And this one has a uh, shimmer. Let's see, let me really see. Yeah. Oh, it's got a lot of shimmer in it. Yeah, that one's a really pretty one. Definitely very nice fall one. So, um, Isabel, you wanted, I thought you said there was three of them. No, there was these two. If you were talking about this one, um, are you talking about this one too? These two, and it was, is it this one as well? Oh, no, that was Shirley's. You can't have that one. Yeah, this one was Shirley's. 
can't have that one. But you can have these. I will give you these two. For sure. Let me know if you want this one, Isabel, to go with these three. Because I know you wanted three of them. Oh, Chris, this one is beautiful, girlfriend. Yeah, I will give it to you because I love you so much. You can have it. Because I'll have a copy of it. Um, the, cop, the copies never do it justice, really, when it comes to metallics. But it's beautiful. There's your other one. I kind of want to keep it together so I know. Okay. And then a couple last ones. This was our first one. And this one has some nice, yummy, um, you can see it. Let me see. There we go. You can see bits of the stencil happening. Come on, focus. Focus, baby. Come on, you focused for a second there. Well, there is, there's lots, not stencil. I used, um, uh, you can see some of it there too. And there, um, there, through here. I used one of those, uh, the texture uh, stamps from Carabella. And then there's, there's this one. This one is fine, but it's got some peely bit because I didn't, um, what was it that I didn't do with this one? I don't know, but I don't mind that it's, and it's not see-through, that's white paint. Um, yeah, just, oh, I, that's what it is. I still had oil on my plate. Um, but see now I'm gonna, I can just rub off any of the bits that are sticking up, right? And then I could take my matte medium and go over this and it will seal all of this in. So I don't even mind that print for sure. Okay. I'll put your name on it and um, I'll, I'll send you an invoice. Um, I'm trying to think. Isabel, I don't have a package for you. Chris, I have a package for, surely I have a, I'm going to have a package for, and Liz. Um, Chris has already went out, so I know she'll buy from me again. So and normally I would just stick this in with your, your purchase. Um, and if I put these in an envelope for you, it's going to be like $4 to ship it, just so you know. So, um, and for these three, Let's see, it would normally be like 15 to 20 prints for 10 bucks. Let me figure that out. I mean, it's not gonna, I'm just, I'm not gonna charge you for these, uh, maybe just a couple dollars. And then like shipping is gonna be like four or four. So like, it'll be six bucks for these three prints because I'll charge you a couple dollars for the print, but shipping is gonna be the most, which is gonna be like four. Right now it's going, it's like 404. Um, or 380, it's between like 386 and like 404. So just so you know, uh, the shipping is going to cost you more than the product. <laughs> just because, you know, you're not, but there's nothing else I'm, I'm shipping to right now. So I can't stick it in a package. But Chris, I know, you know, she'll, she'll buy for me again. So um that's fine okay all right oh, one of the dogs is dropping ass smell it dog farts are nasty just so you know all right i'm gonna leave it my i'm gonna leave my my uh last right here. let's do this one i'm trying to put up um uh, a, a screen print. So, because for the last 30 seconds, I didn't have a, 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 a print of this thing. Let's pull out this blue one here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice little, nice little screen print for my um, print. Well, you know, my what do you call it? You know. Anyway. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Have a great day, love. All right, ladies. This is it. Thanks for coming. Thanks to all those that were here and chat and watching the recording later. And um, yeah, I love you all. Um, stay happy, healthy, and most of all, creative, my friends. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, get in the shadow. What's that?